of you have zero subscribers, maybe you have 10, maybe you have five, maybe you have 100 subscribers. How are people gonna find you? How are you gonna get random people from the outside world, people who you don't know, to click on your video? What's going on guys, my name is Essence and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, then I'm so glad that you clicked on this video, make sure that you subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Today I'm talking about how I grew my YouTube channel from zero subscribers to almost 5,000. So if you're interested in how you can grow your channel too, then keep on watching. I'm not necessarily saying that all of these things are gonna make you grow from zero to 100K, but these are things that helped me to grow super quick in less than one year. So just to give you a little bit of a background, I'm a natural hair YouTuber and I started my channel less than one year ago and I am almost at 5,000 subscribers. As I record this video, I'm at 4.4. Hopefully by the time you're watching, I'm at 5,000, but almost there. So I wanna share my top six tips and tricks that's gonna help you grow your brand new YouTube channel in no time. Okay, so let's start off with number one. If there's anything that you can take from this video right now, it's number one, do your research. There are so many things that you can learn online at any moment, guys. You can Google, how do I paint my house? How can I renovate my bathroom? How can I make friends? How can I get rid of that pimple on my face? You can Google basically anything. And that, that goes for YouTube as well. You can YouTube everything which means that you can youtube how to grow your youtube channel there are so many channels on youtube that are solely dedicated to helping you to grow your youtube channel some of my favorites are roberto blake sunny letter doozy and video influencers just to name a few i have this notebook right here that i write down all of my notes in on how to grow a channel how to be successful how to edit all of these different things guys so i would definitely recommend number one do your research that doesn't mean just watch a couple of videos here, watch a couple of videos there. No, that means grab a notebook and grab a pen and start taking some notes, but also look in your niche. I'm focused on natural hair, beauty, all of that, but what I did was I looked at people in my category and looked at the videos that they were making and I wrote all of the video ideas down because I watched the videos anyway. I wrote all of them down and then I just recreated those videos in my own way. So maybe you're a gaming channel, maybe you're a couples channel, maybe you're a family vlogging channel, or maybe you're focused on fitness. Look at people in your category, in your niche, and look at what videos that you can recreate, write them down, and then do them. Research, research, research. Any Anything you don't know, research. Anything you think you know, research. Write everything down and research how to be successful on YouTube. Okay, number two. One thing that helped to make me successful were my thumbnails. Obviously included in your research is going to be how to make thumbnails or maybe you're already a graphic designer or you don't need help in this area. Thumbnails is like the marketing or advertising for your video. This is what people are gonna see straight off the bat. And if they look at your thumbnail and they're not drawn to it, then they're just not gonna click on it. And what you want is to get people to at least click on your videos, if not stay there and watch the whole thing. So what I did was I learned how to make thumbnails. If you're interested in how I make my thumbnails, then leave a comment below and let me know that you wanna see a video dedicated to that and I will definitely do that. So make sure that your thumbnails are high contrasting bold letters, big words, not too many words, and make sure that you have your face included in your th thumbnail because research always shows that people love to see other people's faces. They don't necessarily want to sit there and read through. Think about when you're on YouTube. You're just scrolling through, scrolling through, and you click on the thumbnail that catches your eyes. If you look back at some of my old videos, my thumbnails, they weren't good, but as my videos go on and as I get better and better on YouTube, I paid more attention to my thumbnails and make sure that people are clicking on them. So the second tip that I have is to make sure that you have an alluring thumbnail. Okay, on to number three, tags and keywords. Now, one thing that I learned is that YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world, on the internet anywhere so the only the only most popular search engine is google and next is youtube and youtube and google are connected your titles your keywords and words in your description have to be words that people are searching for you want your title to be the same thing that someone would be typing in the search bar basically make sure that your tags your keywords and your description all have searchable words so how's anybody going to find you on youtube you have zero subscribers the only people who watch are your friends and your family 
that was me in the beginning and nobody really knows who you are so how is anybody gonna know that you have the best spaghetti and meatballs on the planet you're going to have to use keywords so make sure that the words in your title are words that people are searching for people are not gonna type in John Tucker's spaghetti and meatballs they're gonna type in how to make spaghetti and meatballs or easiest spaghetti and meatballs or quick spaghetti and meatballs you get the drift so you want to make sure that youtube knows how to recommend your videos you're going to type in spaghetti and meatballs family dinner meal prep you're going to use those keywords in, in order for youtube to push your video out so people can find you obviously we know at the very beginning you have no subscribers nobody knows how to find you but if you have keywords that shows google and youtube uh what your video is about then they're going to push your videos out to people who are searching for spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> so your third tip is make sure that your title and your tags and your keywords are searchable okay on to the next one I think I'm number four number three number five I'm not sure the next tip is quality videos now this one was easier for me because in the beginning I already had a Canon camera um, I'm a photographer on the side as well so I already had that I didn't need to buy that if you don't already have a DSLR camera or a high quality camera you can use your phone now if you didn't already know this the phone call the camera qualities on phones are getting better and better as the years go by so if you have a phone with great quality then use that but if you do have the money to drop on a video camera then do that too the thing is that once people search for your video and click on your thumbnail they want to make sure that they're watching something that's quality that's gonna actually gonna keep them there we don't want to see someone in a dusty basement with like one light shining on the side of their head or something like that so what I usually do is like right now I'm using natural light um, if I'm not using natural light and I'm doing my hair videos then I'm using light that's just bright and shining directly on my face you want to make sure that the quality of your video is good so that people hit the subscribe button and keep coming back they don't want to be watching an eyesore video with super bad you know audio quality and stuff like that. You wanna shoot your videos with clear light, daylight if possible, in a quiet space, and you just wanna make sure that your videos are nice and crisp so that people wanna continue watching. Make videos that you wanna watch. I shot some videos like in horrible lighting and yeah, like I mean, yeah. Once I realized that when I watch my video back, I didn't even want to watch it so that's a clear sign if you don't even want to watch your video back through then you know the quality is probably lacking so make sure that you have a good quality video that people want to watch this tip is probably a no-brainer but it may not be a no-brainer so back to the point of you have zero subscribers maybe you have 10 maybe you have five maybe you have 100 subscribers how are people gonna find you how are you gonna get random people from the outside world people who you don't know to click on your video you have to go with the trends so for me doing natural hair the one thing that took me from a little bit of subscribers to overnight hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of subscribers was I went with the trend. So if you don't know, passion twists are a big, you know, protective hairstyle in the natural community right now. It's kind of dwindling, but what I did was I was doing my research. I was on YouTube, I was watching videos, and I noticed people started to do passion twist videos. And I knew I wanted to do passion twists for myself. I love the style. But what I did was I recorded it when I did it and I made it into a tutorial. My passion twist videos are the most watched videos on my YouTube channel today. And if I didn't make those videos, I'd probably still be down at 1,000 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers. I definitely would not be anywhere close to where I am today. The reason why was because my passion twist tutorials were videos that were trending. This is videos, these are videos that people were searching for. These are videos that people wanted to know how to do. So what I did was I took a video that people were already doing and I made it my own. So my tutorial now has like 180,000 views and it's growing every single day. It's the most watched video on my channel. And if I wasn't on that trend and I didn't catch it in time, I definitely would not be where I am today, which is almost at 4.5 4 thousand subscribers. So make sure that you're riding the trend in your niche. Look at what people are doing. If it's tags, if it's pranks, if it's a certain game, if it's a certain recipe, if it's a certain baking style that people like, if it's a certain makeup product, you have to look for the trend and get on it. Because think about it, when people are watching YouTube videos, they're watching a lot of the same things. People are making videos right now about ordering the same thing as a person in front of me. You guys know it's a very, very trendy video right now. If you make a video on that topic, 
YouTube is going to be like, oh, people are watching this video. Let me push this video out to other people. So they're going to find you because they're already watching those kinds of videos. So you have to make videos that are trending. I know that we want to make videos that we like. We want to make videos that, you know, where we're just sitting down talking about our life. But people don't know us. People don't really care either. So you have to make videos with the trend because once you're on the trend, people are going to find you and you're going to gain traction. Okay, my next tip is consistency you might have heard this before but it's very very important and i'm i'm talking to myself too when i say it you want to be able to upload as constantly as you can we are in a very addictive society where we want to watch a lot of things we want to binge watch we want to we want a lot we, we want a lot so you want to make sure that you're putting out videos as consistently as you can for you that might be every day that might be three times a week that may be two times a week or like me it may be one time a week i can't sit here and say that yeah i started uploading videos two times a week and my channel took off realistically for me i'm a mom i'm a wife i have other obligations and so i I can't upload videos two times a week, but I always hear people saying once they started uploading more often, they started getting more traction, more subscribers because YouTube rewards consistency. They want people who are uploading on their platform all the time. So for me, I know that's one time a week, so I'm predictable and I upload one time a week for the most part. But for you, if you know you can do it more often, go for it two times a week, three times a week. People are gonna start to find you, people are gonna start to like you, and they're gonna wanna keep watching you. You all know that one YouTuber who you love to watch and then you go back and they haven't uploaded a video in like a month, you pretty much forget about them and move on to the next person. So make sure that you're uploading consistently. The other thing about uploading consistently is that you start to learn more about your craft. You start to get better. You start to get better at graphic design. You start to get better with your lighting. You start to get faster with your setup. You start to become a better speaker. So not only does it reward you on the watch side, but it also rewards you for yourself because basically you're refining your craft every single time you upload. So the next tip is to make sure that you're uploading consistently. Okay guys, so my last tip on how I was able to grow my channel was helping people. As I said before, YouTube is a top search engine. People are often looking for help. Just think about it right now. How many times have you stopped and you had a problem in life and you went and typed it in YouTube? How to fix my windshield wipers? How to change a flat tire? How to DIY this certain craft? Just stop and think about it. You did it a lot of times, which means that if you're doing it, people are doing it so you want to make videos that are problem solving that are helping people because as i said before people are looking for problems to be solved people are typing in real issues that they have in the search bar so make sure that your video lines up with how you can help people you'll find especially with natural hair that people are looking for tutorials on things people are looking for help on them in the most popular area people are not necessarily looking about um, how to love my natural hair but people are looking for how to deep condition my natural hair people are looking for help so what you want to do is become the hero become the saving grace and help people when people know that you can provide value to them they'll hit the subscribe button and they'll keep coming back so in the middle of me talking the sun decided it was just gonna go behind the cloud what can you do natural light problems so guys if you love this video comment down below and let me know if you want me to make more videos about how to grow your youtube channel how i grew my youtube channel or if there's anything specific that you want me to make a video on and as we always do here question of the day which one of these tips or tricks was the most important to you which one resonated with you the most which one do you need to work on comment down below your answer to the question of the day and that pretty much wraps it up guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next